everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm doing the first pass of stain on the top floor here. If you recall, uh, this top surface was prepared by Amber going through and sanding everything. She did a really great job getting everything really smooth, like where all these boards meet. There had been little bumps, she got it all nice and smooth. Uh, after that, we went through and we just did massive vacuuming. We swept the walls with a broom, vacuumed the whole floor, took the scrapers, got up all the you know, kind of sawdust and crap out of the, the cracks between the boards, vacuumed all that up. This morning when I got here, I did another vacuuming pass, and there was still, there was still a lot left. It was just kind of in the air, ambient. Uh, and now, you know, we're doing this. Uh, what I've been doing is starting with the edges. Uh, I'm just using a t-shirt, and uh, the stain I'm using, it's an oil-based stain. Uh, I mixed one gallon of uh, dark oak stain with about maybe about four inches, uh, you know, in the can, about half a gallon of uh, the red stuff that I was using for all these guys here. Uh, so it's a completely unique stain. Uh, I did that for a couple reasons. One was that I bought two gallons of the dark oak, and I wasn't sure whether that was going to be enough for the whole house in retrospect in doing it. I think two, two gallons is going to be plenty. Um, uh, but, you know, I wasn't sure, so I figured, well, I'll cut it with some stuff that I have left. And I have, I had two gallons of this stuff left over, and I don't think I need two gallons for the rest of the house. Like, even one gallon is going to be gross overkill. So, I figured I'd kind of cut them and kind of mix them together. It would warm up the dark a little bit. Uh, you know, as you look at it, it's a little bit of a warmer color than it would be if I hadn't done that. Uh, and, you know, I just have a little bit extra of it. Uh, I'm using a t-shirt to put the stuff in. I've got knee pads on today because I'm just crawling around on my knees. And, you know, I've never been able to find a knee pad that I find is really comfortable. Like, it's fine for protecting your knees, but after a while in the back, geez, am I getting swollen? I just, uh, you know, it's just these, the, the straps just rub and rub and rub. And I mean, at this point, I've only got them strapped on my, on my calf. I don't have it up here because it's just cutting into my skin. But, you know, for better or worse, it's better than uh, being on your knees on hard wood all day. Uh, even though this is pine, which is technically soft wood. Uh, the way that I'm uh, working when I get up to the edges is I just made a uh, little sheet metal uh, kind of stencil, I guess. And that allows me to push the uh, sopping t-shirt right up to the wall without hitting the wall. I am going to put some trim in there, but it just, you know, keeps it a little bit under control. Uh, and I got this little angled one, again, made out of sheet metal, uh, that uh, goes into these uh, corners here. And I can just kind of jam the t-shirt up into the corner, like that. And, you know, I can get, get in there without uh, mucking everything else up. So, that's what I've been doing today. The, uh, the east room, that large room, is completely done. I'm working in here. I'm uh, going to work my way out of here so I don't paint myself into a corner, literally. Uh, and then we'll finish up uh, uh, the platform at the top of the stairs. Thankfully, because this is really draining work uh, and time consuming, uh, we're not going to be doing the closets with this dark stain. I, I just figured they're closets, it, why put in the extra effort? Plus, there's not really a lot of light in the closet oftentimes, so why make the floor darker and make it even darker in the closet? So I figured let's uh, make it easy on ourselves and not bother to do that. But I did put down a little piece of masking tape here, so we can go right up to that, and, uh, and that'll be the terminating line. But uh, this is grueling work. Uh, you know, I'd rather be lifting boards and cutting them and swinging a hammer and honestly, maybe even climbing up ladders than this, because this is, you know, you're just down on your hands and knees, and it's like cleaning the floor with a toothbrush, except it's your shirt. That's it. Thanks for watching.